So now let's see how you can work with the desktop version of Dropbox in the face without having to go into the folder or to the website. So if you have your Dropbox client installed, then you'll get this icon on the bottom right hand side. Or if you don't see it, you it may be hidden right over here. Or if you don't find it there, you can go to the uh, Kotarna sets right over here and then just type in Dropbox and the Dropbox app will pop up right over here. And this is the interface you can work with. But if you have the Dropbox icon right here, then if you click it, you'll also get this area right over here. So you can see right over here, it says for you. So all of the files that you sync, it shows up right over here, as you can see. So everything, you can start it out and so forth. Everything is here. You can see that the recent files are all located right over here. The shared files are over here. The notifications, everything is there. If you have a lot of files and you want to search for a quick file, so let's say, for example, I want to search for test. You can see that the test file actually pops up right over here. You can also go over here and this is open Dropbox paper. This is another Dropbox feature that we'll be talking about in future lessons. You can open dropbox.com. That is, you can open up the website. You can go over here and access the Dropbox folder, which is what we saw earlier when we open up Dropbox from the Windows uh, Cortana says right over here. You can also go over here and change the account settings right over here. So you can pause the syncing right over here. You can pause the notification. You can change out preferences and so forth. So right now, let's see this so in folder right over here. So this is just like the web version of Dropbox right on your desktop. So you don't have to go to the website each and every time you want to access your files. So what you can do is even if your files are not in your computer, computer it will so up in this interface right over here. So you can see it in different views. As you can see, you can go over here and create files, upload files right over here. From here, you can see the images, text and so forth. Everything, all the folders right over here. You can also see the Dropbox and start items right over here. And you can search for different items right over here. Like you can go for test and search it out right over there as well. And this is what you can do. You can also go to more settings. You have sharing settings right over here and so forth. You can open up in File Explorer or view in Dropbox. So this is something you have uh, like within the Dropbox app itself. Another thing you have is that once I click it, you'll be able to see like uh, who edited it and how many times this was edited when this was edited. So you can see that this new doc text document file was edited one day ago. That is uh, it was uh, edited yesterday and it was uh, edited day before yesterday. You can see test file right over here and you can see right over here. It, it was edited right over here. It was renamed, edited a day ago and this file was edited and so forth. Similarly, you can see the history of the editings as well. And this is what you can do. You have the interface right within uh, the Dropbox app in desktop. So that is how the Dropbox desktop app interface is. And that's how you can navigate through Dropbox right over here on desktop uh, without having to go into the website. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.